Hey, welcome into another Oedipus Venture How-To. In this episode, we're going to take on old man winter and teenage driving. Well, sort of. We're going to fix something that was caused by those two. This mangled post box pole is a direct result of wintry roads and the inexperience of a teen driver. As you can see here, this post took a pretty good hit. I choose not to reveal the name of the driver to save them the embarrassment of this common seasonal incident. And yes, I said seasonal incident. This is a second winter in a row that I've had to put the post back up. And I expect four or five more years of this to happen with all the kids I have in the house. To get this project on the road, or the pole, you'll need a wood chisel, circular saw, square, pencil, tape measure, hammer, file, and a drill. Step 1. Assess the damage and decide if the post is worth replacing. In my case, the post was fine, but the mailbox mount and support needed replaced. Remove all the hardware from the post. I chose to do this because of a few modifications I plan to make, and once it's set, the post will be just a little bit off on its height. I'll put everything back on after the post has been set to ensure the address and especially the reflectors are visible. Although the reflectors didn't stop anyone from hitting it before. Step 2. Give measurements of the parts to be replaced. I am replacing the mailbox mounting beam, which is 27 inches, and the angle support. The original angle support was 6 inches. I am extending the new support to 20 in hopes to make it more resistant to automobile strikes. Step 3. Transfer your measurements to your material and cut to length. Before you run out and buy new wood to make the repairs, look around your house or ask a neighbor if they have any scraps. The 4x4 pieces I'm using were leftover end cuts from my deck project, keeping this project within my desired budget of zero bucks. To add a little design to the mailbox mounting beam, I measured and marked a line one inch from the end all the way around. Then I used my skill saw to make a 45 degree angled cut, leaving a nice finished beveled edge. Cutting the angle support was less difficult. This was a scrap piece that I had lying around, and it just happened to be 20 inches long. Hey, sometimes you get lucky like that and you find a scrap that is exactly what you need. The only thing I had to do here was mark a 45 degree angle on each end and cut. Too easy. Step 4. First I removed the old broken mailbox pin from the post. It's a small but important detail. You'll need to make several cuts to depth into the mailbox support beam in order to connect the post. Make a line 4 inches from the end. Then lay your post on top of the mailbox beam, making sure all edges are lined up. Trace the cutout portion of the post notch to the beam. To set the proper depth of the blade, adjust the blade so that the teeth set on top of the bottom of the post notch, and the saw base plate is flush with the side. Then tighten the depth adjustment knob. Place the beam so that the traced outline of the post notch looks like the letter U. Make a cut on the left and right side of the U. Keep cutting the beam at 8th inch intervals until you have nothing left but thinly sliced wood pieces. Once complete, knock the slices out with a hammer. Clean out the leftover larger chunks of wood with a chisel. Then use a file to smooth completely for a better fit. Step 5. Put it all back together. Set the mailbox support beam notch into the post notch and attach them together with deck screws. Place the 45 degree angle support post between the mailbox mounting beam and post. Make sure both are flush and drop two deck screws into both sides. Bada bing, bada boom, you're done. Hey, if you like this video, be sure to check out our YouTube channel at WSeegers2 or do a keyword search for Edifice Venture. And be sure to subscribe to us and also check out our Facebook page and like us there too.